Labyrinth Escape is the worst game of a- Wait, hold on. Why does every game I cover lately have the word escape in it? Seriously, this is the third one in a row and it's starting to get on my nerves. The only reasoning I can think of here is that the developers don't really know how to make video games, so instead they just make a game where you wander through a map, then reach the end of it and say, Oh, you escaped, and since you're escaping something, I gotta put escape in the title. Well, that's at least my reasoning for it, so you can go ahead and consider it canon, I guess. Labyrinth Escape is the worst game ever. In fact, it's so bad it actually resembles something I made back when I was 16 or 17 during a four-day course for the Unreal Engine. The description says Labyrinth Escape is very challenging game, where your target is to find out of different labyrinths, avoiding bombs, mines, and other scary stuff. Now let's quickly talk about what a labyrinth is, because I don't think the developer quite understands. Now by all means, they've made what I guess could be considered a maze of sorts, but I'm not sure it really falls under the labyrinth description. So a labyrinth, according to Miriam Webster, is a place constructed or full of intricate passageways and blind alleys or a complex labyrinth of tunnels and chambers. Now here's the thing, Labyrinth Escape isn't really full of intricate passageways and blind alleys. I mean, there's a couple little dead ends, but for the most part, you know exactly where to go, except for the points where you don't know where to go, so you just wander around every room and shoot randomly until you find out where to go next. So what exactly is the gameplay in Labyrinth Escape? Well, for the most part, you're seeing it on your screen right now. You wander around into every single room, then you shoot wildly like a madman with these weird-ass rubber pellets, until you find the one destructible wall. By the way, this game claims that because it has destructible walls like this, that it has destructible environments, when really you're just knocking something over. Physics engines and destructible environments are two very different things, and that's literally the entire thing. You wander around these eight different mazes that get extremely annoying after the first three minutes because they place these random ass bombs everywhere that you can't avoid half the time. Now I assume because they've placed these bombs randomly every everywhere and they've hidden the doors from you initially that the developer thinks that makes it a challenging video game unfortunately that's not really how challenge works especially in a game where after you blow yourself up on the bombs you can just walk through the maze again and the bombs won't respawn and the idea of the bombs not respawning seems to be a core mechanic in the game because they very literally are placed in front of you in a way that you can't avoid them. So I went through three or four levels of this game before I absolutely couldn't stand it anymore. My grand total for gameplay was 16 minutes. And like I said, there's only eight levels in the game, so you can imagine how long it would take someone to beat the entire thing. And the entire game is made using stock assets from what I'm going to assume is the Unreal Engine. I could be totally wrong, but that, that's what I'm going with. And also, can we talk about this level that you're currently seeing right now? That is annoying to play. That's not difficult. That doesn't add difficulty having every single wall look like a semi-translucent window. That just makes it extremely irritating. Your game is irritating. It's not difficult, it's irritating. And I mean, like, seriously, look at this. They obviously just took some stock textures and applied them randomly onto walls. Half the time the textures don't even make any sense, or they're too dark and they don't work with the lighting effects, so you can't even see what's on the wall. So I went and took a look over at the Steam forums for the game, because of course I did, and I found out that the developer has not been deleting, as far as I know, but they've been locking threads that are talking negatively about the game. Now, granted, some of these threads don't really add anything to discussion or anything, but I want to talk about what the developer said in response. So he sarcastically said thank you for the feedback, even though the game isn't out yet. He said it's very simple and minor, but also a difficult game. Well, we've already talked about the difficulty in this game, so let's go ahead and talk about why someone might have a negative first impression when they see it on the Steam store. Now I understand that a lot of people don't speak English as their native language, so converting it over to English can be very difficult. However, you need to make it sure that if that's going to be a problem for you, that you can get someone who can properly translate it. Adding on to that, getting someone who can properly use video editing software and make a real trailer for you is probably going to be beneficial so that you give the consumer the best first impression possible. And I don't think you've quite 
done that. And then there's another locked post by, oh, hey, look, it's fellow YouTuber, Temi Neko. Hi, Temi, how's it going? Once again, doesn't really add to the discussion, but the developer's response is what I'm more interested in. The developer said, and I quote, very simplistic game where target find out of labyrinth, some levels difficult, some not so. Someone like this kind target player group is very minor. So basically they mean that the target player audience for their video game is very small and i would agree with that because in my mind after playing the game the target player audience for your game probably consists of you maybe your little brother maybe your parents if they're into that sort of thing as well but beyond that i don't see anyone finding this game to be enjoyable or finding it to be something that they were personally looking to play. People who enjoy first-person shooters aren't going to like this game. People who like mazes aren't going to like this game. There is no target audience here that is big enough to be able to sustain this or to warrant something of this quality being released. I think the developer is trying to make excuses for themselves at this point. They've convinced themselves that they've made a maze game so people who like mazes will like it, but no one seems to be liking it and they're trying to figure out why, but they don't want to face the harsh reality that their game isn't very good and it probably belongs on Itch.io rather than on Steam for money. I mean, I say that, but then judging by the look of their release list so far, they they probably know what they're doing. So that's Labyrinth Escape, the third game in my Escape trilogy of videos, so that's a thing that exists. I hope you enjoyed it. If you find any other terrible games and you want to send them to me, feel free to do so. I'm not slowly shriveling up and dying from covering all these or anything. It'll be totally fine. I'm Patty Jack, and see you next time. Have a wonderful day.